What's going on my guys and gals and my non-binary pals, it's your boy came on here bringing you an updated version of my Galaxy Eyes Photon, hold on Galaxy, I don't want to call it now, you know, it's always been called Galaxy Eyes Photon, or just Galaxy Eyes in general, but now we call it like Photon Galaxy and stuff like that, but anyway, let's just Galaxy Photon, boom, short and sweet to the point, anyways, thank you guys for uh 1800 subscribers bro 200 more and then we're gonna hit the big 2k mark i really caught up to my to my gaming channel so fast so thank y'all very much but anyways um i've been tickering with this deck a little bit and like i think i kind of found the right solution with this deck of like what i should be playing and what i should not be playing and kind of like looking out for certain stuff so i did look up a lot a lot of profiles and like their their reasoning behind said, said stuff and um sorry their reasoning behind said cards in those profiles so i'm like that makes sense so i'm still putting my own twist uh in in this deck of course because you know that's just how i roll that's just how i am but overall the list didn't change too too much but i am running like certain special cards and then you'll be like oh wow that's a good card and like i'll explain the reasons anyways let's hop into it i'm gonna show you guys the main deck the action the side also i changed around my camera setting so it's a lot it's a little bit more brighter i made it darker so like my cards wouldn't glare but now i fixed it so let me know if you guys like this setting more or the other settings let's get into it so obviously you see a side deck here i'm gonna i'm gonna take us to locals today and get some duels i know you guys want sword soul stuff but i do play the decks <laughs> you know what i mean but anyway let's get into it so let's hop right into it so obviously the main deck uh, the monsters didn't change too much except i did add a new monster in here so first things first you got the three galaxy eyes photon dragon obviously you need him at three he's the best card sorry he is your heart and soul of your deck he's not your best card but like the deck revolves around him so obviously playing him at three is your best choice not two not one three because you want to have one in hand one in graveyard and one in deck that is the the logic you need to have when you play this deck and uh, even if you don't want to play at max rarity, bro, you can still play this at a common or a secret. Even ulti is pretty good too. But, you know, if you're trying to be a big baller, you know, you got to get the ghost. Got to futz a little bit, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah, three Galaxy Eyes, Photon Dragons. Uh, still rocking three Wizard. Uh, I've always ran three Wizard. You can check my, my old profiles, like, on my other channel. I've always run this at three. I've never at two. Some profiles run this at two and i get it I, I i honestly get it but i like having him at three because it's like it's like would you run rota at one or rota at three you know what i mean it's like i'd run rota at three you know what i mean like and the fact that we get an additional normal summon in this deck like he's always live no matter what and he's part of a lot of combos like you can extend combos and get level eight like he's too good plus the biggest thing about this deck that people will still understand or see is like this deck will lose if you do not have a normal summonable monster. You know what I mean? So you want to max out on some monsters you can just summon for free. So Wizard is one of them. Just summon Wizard and then you can, you can summon out your Vanisher and all that stuff. So yeah, three Wizard. Uh, obviously three Galaxy Soldier because search. Like this deck is just pure search. You know what I mean? Search, 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 search. So yeah three soldier we wish he was level eight but then again i mean him being level five is fine but if he's level eight oh, 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 oh. <laughs> well we can make a level eight or level four it doesn't matter so yeah three soldier that's it for the oh and that's it for the galaxy guys for the three up so yeah i'll be three up like these nine for me personally will never change like i'll always run these also i low-key want to run sanctuary i might put sanctuary back in here i'm gonna be honest because like Everything in the, in the extra deck, everything in the extra deck is all light. You know what I mean? So I might take out one Vanisher for Sanctuary. So light side note. But yeah, uh, now for Photons, I'm still rocking rock three Jumper. You can run Jumper at two if you want, but I like it at three. I'm always using this card no matter what. I know there's one profile that runs him at one, and I get it, but I like seeing him at three. I like it at three, bro. I mean, if anything, I'll take out one Jumper for a sanctuary sure but i i love jumper at three i actually use his his hand effect too you know what i mean and like again you want to have monsters that you could just summon and then summon all your other stuff too you know what i mean like that's this deck's biggest weakness is not having like those extra some no summonable monsters so 
yeah just three jumper if you want to run it at two run it at two i don't see an issue with running it at two but me personally i like it at three but if i do take one out i'm probably gonna take one out for photon sanctuary most likely because like that's a, that's a pretty good card but i don't know i'm still testing because like that card it, no i won't because like it only has one purpose and that's to summon soul flare you know what i mean i don't know it depends just for now three jumper i like jumper at three you feel me and partner in crime obviously three orbital this will never come out at three this is all this is always a three of not a two of not a one of uh this is a free equip search any photon in our galaxy monster from your deck added to your hand and the fact that this is searchable off of your uh off of your galaxy photon dragon is crazy so like you'll always have access to the next card which is two vanisher like you'll always have this no matter what so like theoretically you could play this at one if you wanted to but mm, you know what i mean i got so, used to, so i got so used to playing this at two you know what i mean like i just think it's hate and love thing because like if you could normal summon this guy also like it, it should have been like normal summon this guy you get no search especially some of them you get the search you know what i mean but you know konami doesn't want to make this deck too good you know what i mean but galaxy has the best deck but yeah so three and two so five ratio search 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 like search 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 and search all these cards search that's three six nine twelve uh 14 14 cards monsters in here are searching no matter what so like even if if, if you open up with just nothing but like monsters like you'll have enough you know what i mean because they, they, they all search and do stuff for you so uh now for the one-ups i did uh so summoner hi summoner how you doing summoner's cool I like putting it in one new card i'm putting in here pretty old but i'm putting back i'm putting clerk in here um the fact that we get additional normal summon now there are there are times where like i don't want to actually normal summon out summoner you know what i mean i can save it and i could just go for clerk instead like recycling back your galaxy and photon cards is crazy you mainly want to hit your spells and trap cards if you if you do play the trap cards but you mainly hit your spell cards with this but just recycling back everything is crazy then drawing a card too good so yeah i i do like the one clerk so like this option is pretty good like if, if i want to go for a good combo i can go for summoner if if i want to go for recycle back my stuff and then switch out trance again i can go for a clerk you know what i mean like I like having the option of doing more or less if that if that makes sense so i i recommend definitely trying out clerk you know what i mean and again clerk is a pretty easy side out card so if you want to side them out during game two and three you can but yeah i just think clerk is pretty cool bro so running the one clerk again and uh obviously the one emperor and the one afterglow afterglow is good at one you don't you don't need it to I know in my old profile that said play him at two, play him at one. This card is a brick. If you draw it, you never want to draw it. You always want to just, you want to just search it. You never want to draw this card. So yeah, just play, play at one. And uh, Emperor, some profiles play this at two. My opinion, you'll play this at two if you run trade in. I do not run trade in, so therefore I'm not going to play this at two. And I don't really like it at two because like drawing this card, feels bad like drawing these two cards in the deck like these, these are the only bricks in your deck and drawing both of them suck tremendously like if you see either one of these you have to see wizard and or soldier soldier pitch this summon search chain block soldier pitch this you have nothing else you know what i mean like and with like wizard like it's just these at one for me are just fine now for the hand traps, as you guys saw from the extra deck, obviously we are running Gamma, bro, the Gamma package. Cause why not? So Gamma package and, whoops. Bree Ash. Because I, I do still feel like this deck has no real issue going second because it has a lot of searches and board, not board breakers, but like it has a lot of ways to break said board. You know what I mean? Because most folks do not know what to hit in this deck. Hell, even I don't know what to hit half the time. You know what I mean? So I wanted to kind of maximize on more hand traps in a way. So, oh, sorry. Let me do this. There we go. Three. So we have seven, eight. We have, well, seven hand traps. This is the only like real brick in the deck. But even then, you can, you, you can pitch this with Galaxy Soldier. You know what I mean? 
you push this, you search, Gamma is still alive. You know what I mean? So, and I think Gamma's pretty good because like this deck will lose to a uh, Droll. So like there, there was there. There's times where I would go normal summon wizard, wizard effect, tribute for cost to search. Then they and they go Droll, and then I go I right, Gamma. You know, I just Gamma for free. Summon out the Gamma. Then you link away these two, and then you summon out your Soul Flare Dragon. You know, because uh, Driver is 2,500 attacks, so you can actually summon out uh, Soul Flare. You know what I mean? So, like, Gamma has its purposes in this deck, and I still think it's pretty good. Yeah, it's a one-off, but we do run the Lambda, and Lambda in phase can search this. That, I, that's what I'm talking about. So, like, skip ahead to the extra deck a little bit. Um, I like this because, like, there are times where I don't want to end up on Soul Flare, but you, you need to make a link to, 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 like, make room. So why not make Lambda, right? and search out gamma during the end phase you know what i mean and or vice versa if you don't want to make a lambda because you have this on your hand you can just make a soul flare or but you know like i just think having the other option to make another link monster besides soul flare is pretty good in this deck so i think gamma is where it's at if you don't if you don't like it don't take my word for it try it out first bro as long as you try it out and you still don't like it then i got no complaints but don't just say I don't like that because I think it's bad. Bro, show me it's bad. Try it out. Show, Tag me in duels. You know what I mean? Be like, I tried it out here. Blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Just test it out. You know what I mean? But that's it for the hand trap lineup. So just these. Because I still feel like this deck needs to be somewhat defensive in a way. Because like it still feels like a glass cannon-ish deck at times. But yeah. Uh, now for spells. Uh, three droplet. I wish, I wish, I wish I played droplet when I did these duels before. It would have saved me versus the Cyber Dragon duel. All I'm saying, because I would have went draw phase, enter battle, you know, negate, and then I go droplet. Shut up. Droplet is very, 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 very good. We just stopped playing droplet because of Kashtira, but Kashtira isn't really the biggest threat in in this game anymore. It's still a big threat. It's still very good, yes, but it's it's not the deck to beat the deck to beat is like purely in like mana dm and all that stuff cash there's still running around don't get don't get it twisted it's still a good deck but i feel like it's safe to play droplet even more now and before you guys say like oh wow why, why would you play this the dead card if cash there's still running around bro you can this is just three cards you can side it out plus we're still running the three imperm also so like the imperm serves the, the same purpose as droplet it's just this is just they can't respond to stuff you know what i mean which in my opinion is pretty good because like <laughs> yeah so yeah just three three droplet i like droplet in here i think it's pretty good test it out you know what i mean uh for two ups 200 and the one foolish barrel uh yeah just this is this like there are times where i'd open up with two of these right you go 100 and they and they go ash that's it you can't you you can't use another 100 in your hand but with foolish burial you can go 100 they go ash all right foolish burial now you know what i mean so essentially you're you're you're, you're, you're playing 300 but you don't want to draw multiple 100 100 is, is a once per turn card you know what i mean so it's like you don't want to do that you, you could get away with running it at one but my opinion i think it needs to be played at two you know what i mean i think it's too good to be played at one well I mean, I guess you could play it at, I guess you can play it at just one. Cause like you only really activate it once anyways. You know what I mean? Like for, for your combos. I don't know. I might actually play it at one. I don't know. I might play it at one. I don't know. Yo, that's crazy. I might, I might, I might play it at one, dude. <laughs> but for now for the profile, we're playing it at two, but I might play it at Uno. You know what I mean? So, so Dos might not be it, but Uno, see, see, see. For the one ups, uh, Expedition, Zero, Trance, and Hyper with obviously the Call by the Grave because Droll kills this deck, Ash hurts, Droll, Ghost Bell, Ghost Ogre, all that stuff, you know what I mean? Just, I don't want to deal with that. I I don't find you funny, gang, you know what I mean? So, one called by, Hyper is really good. If y'all not playing Hyper, you're missing out. Play Hyper. This card will save you so many times. Trance is good at one because it's recyclable zero and expedition again if i do take out 100 i might put back in 
that numbers card most likely because i think numbers is pretty good but because like there are times where like you can't pay two thousand but you can pay half your life points instead you know what yeah i'm gonna take out 100 and i'm gonna put the uh, numbers card instead so keep that in mind 100 one foolish one expedition one zero one trance 100 one numbers hundred one galaxies hyper galaxy and one called by that's the ratio we're gonna do so yeah and then obviously the three in perm for the last of the trap cards as of the main deck that's solid that's a solid 40 cards i think having the the hand traps in here like the hand trap galore is pretty good so i can't knock it now let's go to the extra deck didn't change too too much except for just you know just a few stuff but yeah for the links the one lambda and the the, the two soul flare the cards are pretty good play them uh, you could get away with playing with this at one, honestly, but I like playing it at two because, like, I don't have anything else to put in for the second one. So, yeah, this is this is fine right here, in my opinion. Again, if you want to play it at just one, you can, because there are times where I don't really go into him as often as, as, as I want to. And now that I'm playing Clerk, you can recycle it back if you really need to. So, but yeah, uh, that's it for the links. Exceeds. Blast Dragon, x Knight, still rocking this card. This card's too good. And Galaxy Photon Dragon. Just, these are the, the best fours for this deck. Uh, theoretically, if you did want to run, um, where's Bro at? Ah, here he is. If you wanted to run this guy, Star Lord, Star Leech Lord, you can, but I don't think it's really necessary. Well, with the two Photons? Ah, nah, you don't even get run him. Don't run him. Don't listen to me. Just these four are good. X-9 is really good because it's it's a mini Zeus into a Zeus because could you go summon out, you clear the board, attack for no damage, and then main phase two, you go to Zeus. You know what I mean? So it's it's, it's a Zeus on top of a Zeus. So eight, one Lord. You, you only need one Lord. You never summon two. You never summon two. You never summon two. I saw one profile where like bro was like, you have to play two. Bro, no, you don't. <laughs> when do you summon two? This card's like 70 bucks. When do you be like, oh, I better summon a second Lord here? Nah, bro, you'll probably summon a Hope Harbinger over a second Lord, in my opinion. You know what I mean? So yeah, just one Lord, one Hope Harbinger, uh, Cypher, uh, Photon, uh, C62, Full Armor, uh, Cypher Blade, Cypher X, and Zeus. Round up the, the, uh, the Lynx, sorry, the X-Seeds very standard i still like running this um if you theoretically you could take out this for a fell grant if you really wanted to but i don't really want to run fell grant I don't, I don't i don't think fell grant is that serious or is that deep to run fell grant in my opinion so just just these for now now for the side deck side deck is pretty cool in my opinion it's very versatile it's not on some like i gotta play even they gotta play this. you know it's very like cool so obviously the, the, the two tokens here um yeah for the monsters just three droll droll is literally like the the best hand trap this format it hits every deck and most decks even rogue decks just kind of cry to this so it's like why not side droll in here like droll is good is good in this deck going first and or second better go in second because you draw and then you end it you end their turn even better go in first because you make your big established board with a monster negate and a spell trap card or a spell negate Plus a droll, they're not doing too much. Gonna be honest. Gonna gonna be honest there, friend. So yeah. Three droll. Uh three book of moon because you do want to hit certain cards. Like this card outright just kills pearly. You know what I mean? Stout's mana DM stats pearly, sword soul. Most decks, cash era. Just it's a good card overall. It's good going first and or going second so why not side it if i would i would main it but i'm in and drop it you know what i mean so you can't you can't have it all and i want to keep it 40 so three of those you know what the vibes are bro you know what the vibes are three cosmic cyclone and the one duster theoretically if you wanted this to actually be galaxy cyclone you can because it is searchable so i might cut this for cyclone Galaxy Cyclone, because think about it, like, sure, this hits every back row, right? But you have to hard draw this. With Galaxy Cyclone, you can just search it out with Wizard. You go summon Wizard, Wizard Effect, search. Or summon Galaxy Photon Dragon, search. Or you send um, Jumper, you search. You know what I mean? 
So you know, yeah, this is gonna come out for this. this that sounds crazy, I know, but this is gonna come out for Galaxy Cyclone. So yeah, the Cyclone now because like think about it, it's searchable. You can get it anytime you want to, and you're already running three uh, Cosmic Cyclones anyways. So yeah, this I rather have a searchable one, you know. So yeah, that's gonna be Galaxy Cyclone. So yeah. And obviously, 3D Barrier to hit every deck in this format. Call XC, Call Synchro, Call Fusion, like all that stuff, bro. And uh, just the two, Transmigration. I think this card is good going first, you know what I mean? You side in, boom, against most decks, and like you'll usually win, or just, just two and two, because you, you don't want to clog what you're siding. But yeah, I like the side deck. Again, this is going to come out for Galaxy, uh, Galaxy Cyclone instead, because it's searchable. Not because Duster is bad, it's just it's searchable, you know what I mean? So, like, yeah. That is it for the Zekrofile, man. Hope you guys did enjoy it, man. Make sure you guys do like, comment, subscribe, share. I'm going to get some, some duels for you guys today. And I'm going to collab with some, some folks today also. So, yeah. Um, have an awesome one, man. Take care. Peace.